guys, it's Victor and Charlie for Yummy Japan, and we are stuck in an elevator. We're in an elevator. Where are we going, Victor? I have no idea, but I heard it's a very fantastic fantasy land. You ready for this? Yes, let's go. Okay, okay. The doors are opening. Okay, ooh, what, what is this? This is... Hey, guys. Oh, here's Josh. Hi, Josh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Right. Victor, it's... choose. Oh, I'll, have, I'll have go this one. Okay, so today we're over in Ginza and we're at a place called Alice Restaurant and this is the Alice Re Labyrinth. Yeah. Um, I'm a loss for words. <laughs> this yeah, place this is, is actually pretty cool. This place is really cool. So we have Alice here. Hello, Alice. Hello. <laughs> and we have Josh from Dogo TV. I've never been here before, honestly. You, didn't you sleep here? Like you slept here? No, all no, that's just not true. Okay. Let's go. What? Okay. Right, you okay, Josh. let's go. Let's go. A little bit too tall. <laughs> Charles, I'm scared. How far uh, follow down me. the go are we going? Follow me, guys. <laughs> I keep hitting my head. <laughs> Wow, okay, look Whoa. at this place. Oh, nice. I don't know, I've been to a, I've been to a few themed cafes, like I went to like a, a couple of different ones, and mm -hmm. the thing that you find is that they kind of like lose track of the theme sometimes. True, yeah. yeah. This is like full they really on stick Alice the theme. theme. Yeah. Like, this is as acidy trippy as those books <laughs> are. They've started ever since 2003, yeah. and they have several uh, Alice themed like restaurants and shops like all around Tokyo in around Osaka Japan. and in Osaka and in Nagoya. So, yes, yeah, total yes. of six. So. I'm just kind of taken back, really. It's <laughs> very Ginza. It's very lavish. It's really nice, especially lots of, like, lots, of, lots of diamonds and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. Also, like I like all the different areas they have. Like they yes. have a white like, queen area over there. They have uh, which one is it? I think it's yeah, the, that one's uh, the Mad Hatter, Hatter right? Mad Hatter. And over there, it's the rabbit. Like so, you, if you come with a group of friends, you can really enjoy like all these little sections. And mm -hmm. also, they have like private rooms if you're having like. A date, or if you're next level famous, you can sit in the uh, the teacup. Yeah, they have a teacup. Yeah, they even here. have like signed autographs from like oh. famous idols, oh. which we're gonna do. Like, I, I, right? hope, I yeah. hope we could. Maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so, so today we're gonna get started. We're gonna have some delicious food treats here that are all Alice themed and Halloween themed, yeah. especially for this month. Are you ready to eat, guys? Oh, I'm ready to eat you. <laughs> Shall we ask for the menu, guys? Yes. Yeah. Let's ask for the okay, menu. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have the menu. Yay, menu. That's a, that's a menu. Okay. Is that a menu? There's no words on it. Or pictures or anything. <laughs> it's just a box. Okay, what are we ordering? So we're gonna be ordering a variety of things here. Uh, so I think one of the things that we ordered, we ordered one of each of the special Halloween drinks. Poison, the Queen's Garden, it's like a rose, kind of like tomato drink, and we also got like the Queen's Wine, which is a sangria type of drink. Uh, for the actual menu, where we actually ate, the food menu over here, we started here with a colorful pastel pasta with steamed veggies, and it comes with uh, tomato and cheese on the bottom hoping that this is really good, they recommended it. And we also ordered the rice wrapped in fluffy omelette with meat and cheese. Now this one I'm definitely looking forward to and I'm really hoping that it's good. We also ordered from the dessert menu. Now we got the tea style party set and because it's Halloween, they changed it up especially for Halloween. So that should be really cool. On top of that, we also ordered the White Rabbit and Cheshire Cat's Lovely Parfait. This yeah. is the one I'm looking forward to right here. So, okay, yeah. so shall we order? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> Oh, oh, wow, okay, wow, colorful. Alice, you do the others. All right, it goes. Mm. Does Alice oh, wow. This is, this is really good. Yeah? Like the tomato sauce on it has, adds like a little bit of the zest. The cheese that's on it like leaves it like super creamy. The pasta itself is like perfectly cooked too. You could say al dente. It's legitly pretty good. I would definitely give this a high 9 out of 10. Wow, okay, that's pretty high. What's well, it? You guys wanna try? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Alright. I'm just gonna get oh, oh okay. Oh wow. That is really good. It's like the cheese cuts through the acidity of the of the tomato. The tomato's like really tangy. Like a salsa almost, but it's really good. Wow, it's such a creamy, yeah, like right. a creamy cheese sauce. Like I really like that. It's like a 
almost blue cheese kind of flavor. You have to try this. Because he's right. French, that's why I said he had to try the cheese. Anyways, let's give it a bite. Mm, I love that cheese. The fromage is perfect. Almost like, yeah, blue cheese there, right? Kind of strong. Very, kind of garlicky, the sauce, the yeah. tomato sauce is tomato, 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 I don't know, put it in Lovely. the comments below. Tomato is kind of garlicky, and the pasta is al dente. I would give this a high 9 out of 10. So would you say it's a trick or a treat? <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the mm. Halloween flavored drinks for this month. I got the Queen's wine. Nice. And you got the... Oh, yeah, which is... Poison. Root, poison. Poison. Yeah, yes. Yeah, which is poison. And I got, I have no idea what is this. Okay, the Queen's Rose, yay. We can't buy it. Can't buy it. Can't buy it. Okay, let's try it. Wow. Mine is like drinking a cake. It's <laughs> very, very tasty. Really? It's nice. Oh, there's so many layers to this drink, I can't describe. It tastes like sherbet, almost. Really? No, I'm a very harsh rater. I give this a solid eight Halloweens out of ten. What? Ooh, nice. Very, very good. Well, what was your drink? Okay, so mine is definitely kind of like a sangria. It's very fruity, very berry-ish, kind of wine-ish at the same time. Because of my biased uh, opinion against sangria, it's going to be a little bit lower. But I think it's going to be around like a six or seven. Yeah. How's yours? I have no clue what I'm drinking. Seriously. Really? Like, this has it's, some... it's like a Bloody Mary or yeah, something. Yeah, right. It has some like tomato juice in it. It has, I think, grapefruit and some lime. I think it's some cilantro on the top, too. I think this is like a solid eight out of ten. It's really refreshing. So would you say it's a trick or a treat? I'm going to be drinking this joke the entire video. I don't know. Are you Alice? I am actually. So for this one, we have here kind of like a meat sauce and we have the omelet itself very nice and fluffy. And then over here we have kind of like a cheese and black pepper. All right, and then when you grab it, you're supposed to grab a little piece, grab from one of the sides like so. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, this is really good. Yeah, you like it? Hands down. Cool. 10 out of 10. Wow, 10 out of 10. Okay, so this restaurant is doing pretty good, right? He's too, it's too, it's too nice. It's gotta be stricter. I think I'm gonna go cheese sauce. You go know? ahead. It's like omelette, cheese. I feel like that would mix quite well, so. I'll just eat the rest. Wow. That was really, really good. That's a definite 9.5 from me. Told you so. So good. Wow. Okay, so right here, this is the the uh, creme de la crop. This is the huge parfait that you could order here. This is steamed. You have the Cheshire cat. You have a little rabbit here. And I don't know, the presentation is amazing, to the be honest. The presentation is really cool. How big is that? Is it the size of your head? It's Not huge. The size of my head. Let's let's go ahead and dig in, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this brownie ghost. Go for yeah, same. Right I'm gonna here. pick this one. Go ahead, pick yeah, this one. Okay, no, little fine. little brownie ghost here. Ooh, brownie. Anyways, Damn. delicious. You guys got that? I'm gonna get one of the little crazy aliens down here. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's sweet potato. That is very smooth. Here they have like a little. I think this is kabocha. Here, like a little kabocha. The kabocha is like, insane. Is it good? Try it. It almost feels like eating a real kabocha. Mmm, so Oh, damn! Right? Yeah. Okay, so shall we move ahead to this? And this is huge! Anyways. Shall I have the, the I'm gonna have the Cheshire Cat shoot Go ahead. Yeah, I want that chocolate cake. How does it taste, guys? Oh, uh, like, fruity, very full, sweet. You, you get sour with, like, the sherbet. You just took the entire head of the Cheshire Cat, <laughs> like, in one foul swoop, like, decapitated him. I think this for me, the variety and everything that you get mm -hmm. definitely gets a high like eight out of ten. Same. You know what? I'm going high again. I'm going to give it a nine. It's so impressive. The deliciousness of the items on the menu that you get definitely makes it worth it. Just for us, they actually lit up the room a little bit more brighter, but usually it's a little bit more darker, so it's a little bit more comfy. And yeah. this is Cozy. the type of place that you would take a date to. Overall, like, what really? would you rate the entire like atmosphere of the restaurant itself? I'm a little bit biased because I'm not a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. <gasps> so to me, like, I'm not jerk. I'm not. That doesn't move. That's me. why your ears fell down. Uh, so I would give it a 
8 out of 10 still, because it was a oh, great yeah. experience, yeah. That's good. You don't have to be an Alice fan to have a great time here. It's just like so overwhelming yeah. when you come through, like the, the rabbit hole walkway, this, the teacup, everything going on. I've enjoyed every single moment. I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna say a 9 out of 10. It's Ooh, really, really wow. good. Oh, okay, what about you, Victor? I am definitely gonna have to go with Josh on this one. A nine out of 10. I mean, the minute you walk through the door, it's like entering a storybook and Alice herself comes out and greets you, takes you out to your table. As you're walking through the kind of like the little hallways yeah, here, yeah, yeah. you yeah. see like the private reservation rooms and stuff like that. And they even have a place for like a Joshi guy, yeah. like a girls kind of meet up and they have like cups coming down from the ceiling. The nine attention out of 10. to detail is. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. So again, thank you guys very much for coming on this journey down the rabbit hole with us here at the Alice Labyrinth Cafe here in Ginza. Make sure to check out the website and we'll leave details down below. And then make sure to visit our buddies over at Dogo TV. We got Josh here. Hello. So if you guys like the content again, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and then we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.